Hi, it's Kim Green, and these are some photos from a shoot up in the mountains of California that I did. I'm going to take you back a couple of days in the past and show you how I packed my kit. Hi, so welcome to my makeup supply room at my house. Um, it was actually built specifically for this. I kind of go shopping in here for different projects, um, whether it's a film or a TV show, a print job, day checking, whatever it is. I um, get to come in here and pull what I need for that specific project. Um, and at a later date, I'll go into more detail about this room um, and really go through it. So in this case, I'm going to go on a two-day reshoot in the mountains. So I'm going to grab my Zuka backpack. And uh, let's see, I think I'm going to also get the Zuka rolling bag and just a few other supplies. This is the Zuka backpack, like I said, um, because it's a great thing to take with me because I'm going into the mountains and I can, you know, pack it and throw it on my back. I have all these little, you know, um, essential bags of mine in there that fit perfectly with different supplies that I think I'll need. Um, bringing some blushes and some eyeshadows. It's just one leading lady. Uh, contour palette and um, maybe some stuntmen so I've brought you know this RCMA palette with different colors it's kind of a great kit because you can use it um, it's the olive series and you can use it on so many people it's kind of a great little bring along if you need you know basic stuff the makeup artist that did the film was not available for the reshoots um, so I got his continuity notes and I actually as well called him, which is the respectful thing to do always. And he gave me a list of the things that he used on, um, the female lead that I'm going to be doing for the reshoots and some of the products I had in stock and other products I didn't happen to have and went out and purchased them for the reshoot specifically. Because there's going to be a couple of uh, male stuntmen, I've brought a uh, shave kit, just some electric razors, some dual finish powders, and um, as a matter of fact, I need to pack a little bit of fake hair and some glue just in case there's some facial hair to match. This is a uh, miniest of mini disposable kits. Um, I don't really need that much because it's only a couple of days. Um, but in this, you know, front pockets, I have uh, some Q-tips and mascara wands and lip brushes. On the other side, uh, these little wipes, brush cleaner wipes, which are great for travel. And uh, some Aquaphor for lips. It's going to be, um, it's going to be really dry up there, which is why you also see the body lotion and um, things like that. And shaving supplies for girl some shaving cream and a little disposable. This is a water, um, I guess it's called a water pen instead of a aerosol, just easier, smaller. Eye drops and all the usual stuff, sponges and puffs. This is uh, eye makeup remover or and it's just makeup remover pad and it's a much smaller version which I like. Here's some brushes, lots of different options to try. These are the four little pockets that are attached to the Zuka backpack and I always just have them loaded and ready to go with different types of disposables as you can see. Side pocket is actually for hot irons but I have it full of um, these alcohol based palettes as well as this you know I have a fan and on the other pocket I have Nail, nail products and concealers and some alcohol. On the outside I can fit some more palettes that I might need. I have a number of set bags that I use for different types of locations and different kinds of shoots. This one's perfect for wilderness and mountains, um, those kind of shoots where I can just throw it on my back and it keeps my hands free. Um, I'll have my Zuka rolling kit probably at base camp or at a lower altitude or wherever I am for um, you know for more of the back stock stuff. This is the Zuka rolling bag. Um, opens on the side here. I'm bringing for this 
shoot, um, just a little bit of healthy food. You never know what they're going to have or not have. Um, so make sure you're prepared with the type of foods that you can eat and want to eat. Um, this is just a giant scarf. And uh, this is the set bag that she's going to end up, I'm going to have all of her stuff in eventually, and I'll be wearing that with the backpack on my back. On the side of the Zuko rolling bag, there's these mesh pouches. And, um, you know, in this case, I think that I'm going to be uh, walking around in some snow and maybe some mud. So I'm going to bring these Neos that um, you put over your regular shoes and it protects them. So a little tip is I always bring um, some Ziploc bags or put them in the Ziploc bags because on the way back, they're going to be really muddy and dirty and I don't want to get um, my equipment all messed up. Here's a final shot of my kit ready to go. For more makeup tips, go to kimgreenmakeup.blogspot.com. For more information on my bags, go to thekimgreenline.com. Thanks for watching.